isn't always our timing. He may not work things out the way we planned, but he is working things out for better. This COVID-19 has really changed everything around the world. From basic routinary way of living to celebration of big events has suddenly shifted to new normal. Today, our dear parents and their children who patiently waited, finally, it is over. A pleasant afternoon. Vicente Andaya Senior National High School proudly presents its fourth senior high school commencement exercises for the school year 2020-2021 with the theme, Kalidad ng Edukasyon, Lalong Patatagin sa Gitna ng Pandemya, Strengthening Quality Education amid COVID-19 Pandemic. With a rousing virtual applause, let us welcome the graduating class for school year 2020-2021, starting with the Accountancy, Business, and Management 1 with their advisor, Ms. Pebbles and C. Isevedo. Accountancy, Business, and Management 2 with their advisor, Mr. Elmer C. Tamayo. General Academic Strand with their advisor, Mr. Juanilio D. Casabon, Jr. Humanities and Social Sciences 1 with their advisor, Mr. Wilfredo J. Paulino. Humanities and Social Sciences 2 with their advisor, Ms. Presa B. Humbas. Humanities and Social Sciences 3 with their advisor, Ms. Mary Jane B. Igasan. Humanities and Social Sciences 4 with their advisor, Ms. Alvi J. Cano. Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics with their advisor, Ms. Helen O. Havil. Technical, Vocational, and Livelihood 1 with their advisor, Mr. Ryan B. Bisana. Technical, Vocational, and Livelihood 2 with their advisor, Mr. Jacket D. Dariagat. At the outset, requesting everyone to rise as we pay homage to our beloved Philippines. And please remain standing as we glorify God Almighty through a prayer to be offered by Romel Parenas with highest honors and as we pride our dearest Capis.
let us bow our heads and feel the presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, please bless and give us your grace as we graduate today. We thank you for protecting and guiding us up to this point. And thank you for the knowledge and skills that we have gained this year. We humbly ask for your guidance as we embark on the next chapter of our lives. Pave our road with opportunities and inspire us to live with hope in this journey called life. May your hands of protection continue to guide the principal of our beloved school, the junior and senior high school teachers, and the parents, and continue blessing them with strength and wisdom. May your words light the path of students, especially the graduates of the school year 2020-2021, that they may use their knowledge to make wise decisions in life. This we pray in the name of the Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Honor is not a matter of any man's calling merely, but rather of his own actions in it. And to welcome all of us in this worth remembering event, shall we listen to Miss Carice Marilyn M. Ponsaran, with highest honors. Let's give her a virtual applause. To our genial, lovely, ever supportive DepEd representative, and at the same time, the Division Education Program Supervisor in Filipino, Adoptive Supervisor of the District of Sigma, in the person of Dr. Merle J. Rubio, highly esteemed faculty and administrators of Vicente Andaya Senior National High School, headed by our Principal Three, Dr. Jimmy B. Villanes, our officer in charge in Senior High School, Mr. Wilfredo J. Paulino, together with our head teachers, Mrs. Mary Chris Q. Ibanez, Dr. Reynaldo J. Crispo, Mrs. Joanna V. Rojo, Mr. Marlon J. Reliente, spectators, parents, friends, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow graduates of Batch 2020-2021, a cordial and rousing afternoon. Today marks an exceptional virtual graduation that all graduates and parents are hopeful and grateful to happen. How time flies, right? When most of us spent our six memorable years in VAS NHS, yet today will be our last day. We all know this is not goodbye, but hello to the new path each of us will go through. I miss the fun, resounding laughs and voices of students echoing our hallways, all the activities we have joined and enjoyed, the daily activities, our classes with our dearest teachers, friendships built with our classmates and schoolmates, and the barcadas we have treasured. All of this will be kept in our hearts and memories. We had won over the harsh of pandemic, and still we are fighting for it and dealing with it but the good news is, we did not stop studying. Our gratitude to the Department of Education, who catered all our needs, who are more creative than ever, and have been thinking of what is best for deaf and family to be able to heighten the level of the education system, supporting by all means the students and teachers. As students, we are humbly reminded that our main objective in life is to reach for our big dream and not a dream of mere crumbs. A philosopher once said, we are all called to be happy because it is God's design to each one. Which clearly means that study is the will of God for us students and to pursue our degree in college, especially with our free tuition system in the Commission on Higher Education, we can say 
that our generation is in God's perfect plan and perfect timing to avail degrees. Today is a day of celebration, a recognition of our achievements and triumphs, of remembering how we worked together and enjoyed our younger years. Through the care and support of our parents, the often undying hard work of our teachers, and the nurturing atmosphere of our alma mater that brought good vibes, which is clean environment, beautiful school buildings, and surroundings. Finally, we have reached our initial goal. In this moment, where achievements are recognized and honor is given, it is with great love, pride, and pleasure that I welcome you to another milestone of Vicente Andaya Senior National High School. Welcome to the fourth graduation ceremony of Batch 2020-2021. Congratulations to us all graduating students. May God bless us and may we all find ourselves under the guiding and protecting hands of God. Good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness virtually the main highlight of today's event. To do the honors of presenting the candidates for graduation, a dynamic and supportive father of our school, Dr. Jimmy B. Billiones, Principal 3. Candidates for graduation, Karinda Year 2020 2021. Dr. Salvador O. Ochavo Jr., CISO 5, Schools Division Superintendent, Division of Copies, Banica, Rowell City. As principal of this school, I have the honor to present 385 candidates for graduation for school year 2020 2021. They have satisfactorily completed the academic requirements of K 12 basic education curriculum as prescribed by the Department of Education. For the confirmment of the candidates for admission, here is our school's division superintendent, Dr. Salvador O. Ochava Jr., SASA 5. By virtue of the authority in me vested by the Secretary of the Department of Education through the Regional Director, and upon the recommendation of your principal that all of you have completed and complied with all of the requirements of the basic education curriculum, I hereby confirm your graduation today and declare you graduates of basic education of the Department of Education, CAPIS, and award you your diploma with all of the privileges, rights, and entitlements pertinent thereto. Congratulations. To inspire our graduates, let us be emboldened with the graduation message from our school's division superintendent, Dr. Salvador O. Ochava Jr., SASA 5. My felicitations and expression of jubilation for victories won by the Department of Education over pandemic. Education though affected, but the Department of Education was able to rise above the situation and stand victors of the situation. My congratulations to every learner. My congratulations to every parent. My congratulations to every teacher. My congratulations to the administrators, local government units, and every community member. Indeed, CAPIS divisions basic education learning continuity plan was successful in its content and implementation. To this, I can say, paraphrasing 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 7 to 8, the Department of Education CAPIS has fought a good fight, finished the race, and kept the faith. Congratulations to every graduate and Godspeed. Congratulations. Another inspiring message will be given by the DepEd Region 6 Director, 
Dr. Ramir B. Oitico, Sasa 4. Congratulations, dear graduates and completers of school year 2020-2021. You make us all look at the future with anticipation and pride. You have once again proven that true champions can thrive in the midst of the challenging realities of life. Your sheer grit and resilience have brought you this far in your lifelong pursuit of quality education. Your achievements call for a celebration. You have risen above the worst of times and have responded to the overwhelming demands of the new normal with Elan. Your education must not only be reflected in your report cards, but must be manifested in how you masterfully deal with life. An embodiment of courage, compassion, character, and competence. As you relish this moment, remember to celebrate your success with our indefatigable advocates and champions of quality education. Teachers, parents, school administrators, education leaders, stakeholders, and friends, among others. Your success seals our triumph over trials. It propels our collective aspiration for a brighter future despite the limitations caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. This is just the beginning of a beautiful journey ahead. We firmly believe in your potential for success because in Deped Region 6, every child is a champion. As you cross this time of immense challenges and great opportunities, keep your passion for greatness alive. May your achievements inspire everyone to move forward with a renewed sense of hope, meaning, and purpose. Together, we shall rise as one. Ipadayon ta ang pagpalanggaanay. Once again, congratulations and mabuhay! Another message will be given by our DepEd Secretary, Leonor Magdoles Briones. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices whose uh, reminders and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically. Where we've always thought, we've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. 
Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners, this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all. And so thank you teachers. Your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed, the assignments are correctly uh, implemented, and the learners are truly learning. And you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations, teachers, for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material, as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings uh, fall on the deserving uh, graduate each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down, and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered, and now you are ready to graduate. And therefore, you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug, 
virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for f further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that, are, that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. 
It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work. You can proceed for further studies. You can help your parents. And you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity, the door which will help you know more about this world, and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates. And we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. Thank you very much for that very inspiring and insightful messages. Your words will surely guide our graduates as they tread a new path in their lives. May your messages motivate them to strive harder. After six years of hard work and dedication, graduates, it is about time to reward your commitment towards education. Reap the fruits of your labor. At this juncture, we will now have the distribution of diplomas to the graduates of school year 2020-2021 to be presented by the class advisors. Starting with Accountancy, Business and Management 1 with their advisor, Ms. Pebbles Ann Isavedo. Accountancy, Business and Management 1 Eric E. Perino with honors. Jervin E. Dacot with honors. Anthony R. Delco with high honors. Juris Paul Friales with honors. Jenny C. Alcos with honors. Mary Joy A. Arceles with honors. Angel L. Bailon with high honors. Sheila May Cabantod with honors. Nicole Angelic D. Celestial with honors. Clea May C. De Pedro with high honors. Cheryl De Donna with honors. Zia L. Domalagi, with high honors. Pauline Joy J. Fernando, with honors. Monica May F. Julio, 
with high honors. Marivic Q. Gape with honors. Christine C. Garcia with honors. Christine D. Garcia with honors. Pauline Joy D. Hinio with honors. Jenny O. Laureano. Renelin L. Laveros with high honors. Arian May H. Losanta with honors. Jovelin E. Matiling with honors. Michelle G. Nicolas with honors. Gurley L. Punsaran with high honors. Michelle Rose L. Hirao with honors. Rayalyn Reyes with honors. Alia R. Santiago with honors. Debbie Ann D. Santiago with honors. Dina Santiago with high honors. Maybelline B. Chanchon with high honors. Congratulations, ABM1. Next is the Accountancy, Business, and Management 2 with their advisor, Mr. Elmer C. Tamayo. Accountancy, Business, and Management 2. John Miles R. Daniel. Raven D. Durano with honors. Mitchell Riggs Angelo M. Lotilia with honors. Carl Kevin D. Manic with honors. Remark M. Pigao with honors. Gisela Rizel Abalahon with high honors. Joyce B. Bacalanco with high honors. Rowena J. Bayotas with high honors. Darlene Joy R. Belguera with honors. Catherine R. Williams with honors. Jusel V. Blancaplor with honors. Roselle Marie de Calimpon with high honors. Jumilin B. De La Pina with honors. Danisa Rose P. De La Viga with honors. Jolina A. De Liota with honors. Meryl Rose M. Estores with honors. Jeneline F. Francisco with honors. Lorimi P. Francisco with honors. Catherine P. I. Galvez. Jinilin B. Halico with honors. Jamaica F. Hamison with honors. Krisha M. J. Lachika with high honors. Maria Christine Joy B. Laureano with high honors. Justin M. L. Dorico with high honors. Anilin Magbanwa with honors. Danica Rose S. Narciso with honors Robilene G. Pama with honors Regine Pedragosa with honors Mary Jane A. Saldo with honors Giselle L. Salomio with high honors Michelle G. Sancho with honors Erika M. C. Swan with honors Ana Marie F. Sumido. Jackie Rose S. Bellaros with high honors. Congratulations, ABM2. Next is the Grade 12 General Academic Strand with their class advisor, Juanillo D. Casabon Jr. General Academic Strand. 
GB S. Alayon Darrell L. Arbolida Junel C. Archibuki Joshua M. Bienvenida Jemsel C. Huday Jesser B. Dalida Benz Aaron L. De La Cruz Kenrel T. Hieronimo John Mark F. Siderio Nelson B. Lostica Jr. Jobert C. Mondedo Reese M. Pagdato Jason Brian A. Kiatson Emmanuel Q. Kirao John Lester B. Rapista Jeric Mark D. Saligan Roger M. Simino Jr. Welmar C. Terol Kresha M. L. Abaracuso with high honors Myra B. Advencula with honors Mayan O. Alayon with high honors Charlene D. Alejandria Kayla L. Barkelia Reyma B. Candido Hazel E. Doliete with high honors Jisa L. Factorin Jonami B. Francesco with honors Junalyn L. Gallardo with high honors. Applejoy D. Marcelino. Andrea Rose B. Mariano with honors. Maria Sofia B. Mariano with honors. Mergy L. Parides with honors. Congratulations, General Academic Strand. Next. Is Grade 12 Humanities and Social Sciences 1 with their advisor, Mr. Wilfredo J. Paulino. Humanities and Social Sciences 1. John Mark J. Ernesto with high honors. Lee Shauran Emmanuel L. Arroyo with high honors. Mark Anthony C. Baggio Jr. with high honors. R.J. A. Bayot with high honors. Earl E. Estefano with honors. Dan Kenneth D. Polasso with high honors. John Dave D. Jorge with high honors. Daniel G. Mijares with high honors Mark Jamil Peral with high honors Jolan Kent A. Saturnino with high honors Jona May E. Agris with high honors RVD Arante with high honors Mary John F. Arguelles with high honors Melanie B. Atalisay with high honors. Marsan F. Bacalanco with high honors. Regine R. Baldonado with high honors. Tanya May I. Versales with high honors. Pauline Joy C. Cabrillos with high honors. Kyla May M. Celino with high honors. Jonalyn F. Pulio, with high honors. Mika A. Jondo, with high honors. Nashima Faith P. Eusebio, with high honors. Jessa R. Philosopho, with high honors. Yana Alexandra F. Gilaran, with high honors. 
Emily D. Laureano, with high honors. Ami C. Lipania, with high honors. Jassel Joy M. Llorito, with high honors. Chivel J. Miguel, with high honors. Bernadette D. Mondido, with high honors. Rose Jane I. Morales, with high honors. Hani Lee S. Panes, with high honors. Jaira May A. Peroja, with high honors. Mary Flor A. Ponsaran, with high honors. Sarah Jane V. Rapista, with high honors. Erilyn C. Reble, with highest honors. Christine Jean G. Rivas, with high honors. Kim F. Villaruz, with high honors. Congratulations, Yung Swan. Next is Humanities and Social Sciences 2, with their advisor, Mrs. Presi V. Humbas. Grade 12, Humanities and Social Sciences 2. Christian R. Abaldonado. Ray L. Alejandria. Jaftino T. Alicaya. Alfrich M. Barrio. Ricky M. Barrio. Aldrin O. Capay. Leonard B. Glorion. Sharwin C. Dumagpi. Aldrex Matthew L. Esplana, with honors. John Wayne B. Flor, with honors. Jude Armand Jericho B. Galino. John B. V. Labrador. Vicente III L. Vernola, with honors. Lovelyn E. Amores, with honors. Camila O. Cabantud, with honors. Tia Marie L. Compuesto. Eunice S. Dalmacio. Gina May P. De Juan. Maricar A. Igasan, with honors. Rochelle Ann C. Figuro, with honors. Isel Joy H. Flores. Lizelle Ann A. Flores, with honors. Rika Joy C. Flores, with high honors. Marby Jane C. Francisco. Rika U. Francisco. Janine N. Polhensio. Maria Fe D. Gimong, with honors. Diana E. Godoyani, with honors. Marjorie M. Ware, with honors. Mary Nicole S. Lapides, with honors. Jessa May M. Laureano, with honors. Hanilin L. Lopez. Divine Rose O. Loyola. Mary May G. Magbanwa, with honors. Jean Clarice Matiliano. Reina Bell F. Melendres. April Joy C. Penis, with high honors. Jenny May L. Santoral. Vicky L. Ordelia, with honors. Maria Erika V. Belieza. Congratulations, Yums 2. Next is the Humanities and Social Sciences 3 with their advisor, Ms. Mary Jane B. Igasa. Humanities and Social Sciences 3, Gerald Bacalanco. Andre I. Bernardes. John Cedric D. Caminoy with honors. John Stephen A. Cornelio with honors. Homar P. Pusay with honors. Jerick G. Domingo with honors. 
George A. Elvira with honors. Marjun M. Glimani with honors. Niku O. Gumugda with honors. Poliar O. Justin with honors. Johnson B. Unico with honors. Steve L. Oroseo Jr. with honors. Val Adrian Febre Reyes. Richelle E. C. Arroyo with honors. Saira F. Bandejas with honors. Nicole B. Binigo with honors. Jove May A. Carillo with honors. Rhea May M. Coronado with honors. Ellen May M. Julio with honors. Lizelle E. Di Juan with honors. Chris D. Elizares with high honors. Jessica L. Pactolorin. Mayaline F. Pahartin with honors. Vanessa Jane L. Feliciano with honors. Rina B. Finiquito with honors. Abigail D. Francisco with honors. Regina B. Gamayao. Hanami A. Ignis with honors. Maria Nicole B. Hito with honors. Lisa May L. Yunor with honors. Pauline B. Libardo with honors. Juana Marie B. Magbanwa with honors. Rialin P. Mijares with honors. Maria Romelin G. Norba. Rika Joy F. Ortilano with honors. Sheila Mia B. Pasinag with high honors. Joy Marie G. Sangrones with honors. Kyla B. Villa with honors. Next is Humanities and Social Sciences 4 with their advisor, Ms. Almi J. Cano. Humanities and Social Sciences 4, Mark J. Alejandria with honors. John Mar D. Aplasca with honors. Ernesto C. Campoy with honors. John P. Cibuano. Jess C. Sikenya. Jereen D. Anyo. Nikin J. F. De La Vega with honors. Antonio D. Estorki Jr. with honors. John Patrick C. Garcia. Isidro M. Guarjas with honors. Albert S. Guzman. Prince Nathaniel G. Laonio. Christopher L. Liamu with honors. J.M. A. Loro. Francis Xavier B. Marcelino with honors. Lenmart L. Martin with honors. Robert Patrick L. Obien with high honors. Ryan M. Pama with honors. Neil Gerard L. Villegas. Julia F. Antonio with honors. Russell May D. Avila with honors. Winnie Ann P. Carillo with honors. Jamaica F. Dagmil with honors. Diana Rose M. Esquino with honors. Angel Me D. Fabot with honors. Ruby Joy Fahermo with honors. Monica Shine Yu Galio with honors. Joylin P. Gregorio with honors. 
Maria Carlin D. Makahilig with honors. Anna May G. Obrensi with honors. April Joy G. Salem with honors. Kaylan Kate A. Salvador. Maria Nina C. Velez with honors. Lori Grace J. Villar with honors. Sheila May L. Villar with honors. Next is the Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics with their advisor, Ms. Helen O. Havil. Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Paul Vincent A. Alayon with high honors. Lo Alniel J. Bacalanco. Keith Frances B. Castillon with high honors. Gwen Mark B. Crespo with high honors. Januarios F. Prisosto with high honors. Jason O. Day One with honors. Melgar Saint D. Esteban. Romel M. Farinas with highest honors. Yori John A. Francisco with honors Rans Jewel M. Hago with honors Jan Fidelrigo V. Jordan with honors Raymar Gail M. Labastida Carlo G. Ladrillo with highest honors Edwin L. Lata Jr. with highest honors. Leo J. J. Laurilla with high honors. Christian G. Loyola with high honors. Arvin L. Luna with highest honors. Kenneth Bisanti with high honors Roberoff B. Ahino with high honors Mary Claire S. Alayon with high honors Jolly Valerie A. Alejandria with honors Mary Angeline M. Bago with honors Catherine V. Bardinas with highest honors. Shira A. Binoy with high honors. Charlene May T. Bonda with high honors. Angie Ace A. Catalunya with high honors. Rica May O. Crispo with highest honors Laika E. De Igorola Abigail Francisco with high honors Jayled N. Paul Hensho with high honors Fritz Dayan B. Garcia with high honors Mercy Joy F. Gregorio with high honors. Tricia Ann A. Hagurilis with highest honors. Jory May V. Lacson with high honors. Jasmine S. Lowry with high honors. Dessa Angel D. Laz with high honors 
Maraya Caril R. Payas with honors. Candy F. Pimentel with honors. Clarice Marilyn M. Ponsaran with highest honors. Shalanel Pearl C. Ponsaran with high honors. Catherine B. Preciosa with high honors. Riza May L. Salverio with high honors. Kyle Russell F. Tampos with high honors. Congratulations, STEM 12. Next is the technical, vocational, and livelihood one. Weather advisor, Mr. Ryan B. Bisana. Technical Vocational Livelihood Bread and Pastry Dante M. Aquino Jr. John Michael J. Flores Justine C. Labrador Mark Angelo Duda Rowena Apayo Jessa V. Bello With Honors Reyeme P. Bereber With Honors Mary Ann H. De La Cruz with honors. Ellen Joy C. Francisco with honors. Neslin Leobon with honors. Victoria Hart Paha with honors. Pony C. Payas with honors. Mary Rosie Salamiro with honors. Margilin T. Ventura with honors. Harleen R. Villegas with honors. Motorcycle Small Engine Servicing. John Paul Badinas. Angelo E. Bracamonte. Ernel C. Campoy. J.F. D. Juan. John Mark M. D. Vicente with honors. Ryan M. D. Vicente George D. Durana Jr. James F. Francisco with honors Joren R. Franco Jorel L. Gaborno with honors Paulo E. Gallardo Jan Ray L. Gamer Christian J. Jeronimo Junel B. Gregorio Clarence I. Gumogda Rebi F. Harse John Mark D. Marcelino Noel P. Ocbenia Jared Shem J. Orozco Roland F. Perason John Paul E. Prohillo Gerald P. Reyes Kent Lemuel J. Salomon Anden P. Silvestre Juvenile Dite with honors. Artemio B. Tianchon. Kekem D. Villar. Hairdressing. Angeline B. Flor with honors. Richie Angie Lamayo with honors. Maya E. Salomeo with honors. Charlene Villaranda with honors. Tailoring. John Francis F. Bides, Reynan H. De La Vega, Kenty J. O. Piñola, Grace Ann F. Albanez, with honors, Joan D. Alicaya, with honors, Saribel F. Atiga, with honors, Gia U. Habiliana, with honors, Jambi A. Pimentel, Congratulations, TBL1. Next is Technical Vocational Livelihood 2 with your advisor, Mr. Japheth Dariaga. Technical Vocational and Livelihood 2. Electrical Installation and Maintenance. Randy B. Alaba with honors. Marjun S. Alayo. 
Jerry G. Alejandria, Albert S. Arivalo, Vince Ivan P. Bernabe, John Lester M. Bidiones, Raniel D. Castillon, Edmond C. Crispo, Nilbert B. Crispo, Noel M. Dapulano, Ryan D. Dipanay, Alfred R. Delco, John Ferry C. Diel, Noriel J. F. Dilia, John Mark B. Dindin, Ronald C. Dumagpi Jr., Efren E. Gregorio Jr., Maisy A. Gregorio, with honors. Debbie D. Harse. Carlo G. Laborte. Gerald P. Liobon. Kenneth T. Unico. Vincent E. Lusada. Darwin S. Magbanwa. Dennis L. Marcelo Jr. Ryan Mark L. Mijares, Judy D. Moises Jr., Claridel F. Obrense II, Billy John D. Ulithau, Jason B. Onofre, B.J. Raymond Ortiz, with honors, Clarence L. Pinalba, Ijun O. Prohio, Vincent O. Puyat, Julmar B. Rubio, Alfred John A. Sapico, James C. Oreta, Benjan B. Villarus, with honors, Computer Animation, Generos J. Barrios, with honors, Jessery A. Francisco, with honors, Marvin A. Garbe, Joy C. Hilario, with honors, Christine A. Satuna Satonero, with honors. Congratulations, TVL2. We are honored and graced by the presence of our very own alumna as our graduation speaker. She is the class valedictorian of her batch year 2012. She finished her tertiary education at Philomer Christian University as summa cum laude. She also completed her Master of Arts in Teaching Filipino as Bene Meritos. One of the members of VASNHS faculty, our warmest welcome to Miss Salvation I Lastra. The harvest of the beautiful seeds that had been sown has now come. Graduation is always the highlight of every student's life. To our division superintendent, Dr. Salvador O. Chava Jr. Sesify, to the dedicated assistant schools division superintendent, Sir Jose Nero Nelasca, to our Active Education Program Supervisor in Filipino, Dr. Merle J. Rubio, to our OIC District Supervisor, Dr. Jero Odicta, and to our hardworking and epitome of excellence, our very own School Principal 3, Dr. Jimmy B. Bilianes, and to our ever-supportive head teachers, Mrs. Mary Chris Q. Ibanez, Head Teacher 4 of English and Filipino Department, Dr. Reynaldo Crespo, Head Teacher 2 of TLE and MAPE Department, Mr. Marlon Ruliente, Head Teacher 1 of Mathematics and Araling Panlipunan Department, and Mrs. Joanna Rojo, Head Teacher 1 of Science and ESP Department. To our distinguished guests and proud parents, a pleasant afternoon to all. Good day, graduates. 
I can visualize myself when I graduated my high school years, same as yours. Yet, it was on a different perspective. We were embracing one another, we laughed, and we cried with our hearts out physically. In your case, however, you are having the same feeling with your batchmates virtually. That is to say, though you are not physically together, I believe that you are mentally and emotionally bonded, reaping this momentous event. My dear graduates, you are now entering a new beginning of your life, a beginning which will become your stepping stone as you baffle this life of yours. You may step out from your high school years, yet, I want you to bear in mind the learnings and the wisdom that your teachers imparted in you. Let it become your shield, your weapon, as you face the battle in a larger scale of learning towards your life. And that is your college years, or whatever opportunities that God may give unto you as you go along your journey. Meron akong ikukwento sa inyo. May isang bata na naghihintay sa labas ng kanyang silid-aralan. Nakatayo at nakatingin sa malayo. Paulit-ulit na naririnig niya ang boses ng kanyang ama sa kanyang isipan. Anak, hintayin mo ako mamaya ha? Dadalhan kita ng merienda. Sabi ng kanyang ama bago umalis. Maya-maya, makalipas ng ilang minuto, biglang sumilay ang matatamis ng ngiti sa kanyang mga labi. Isang lalaking nakapedikab ang dumating. Dala-dala ang isang stick ng banana cue para sa kanyang anak. Araw-araw na nakikipagguno sa hirap ng buhay. Araw-araw na tinitiis ang init at ulan. At araw-araw, na iniinda ang sakit ng tuhod sa pagpapadya. May merienda lamang na maihahatid sa kanyang anak. Mahirap ba ang buhay? Oo. Marami bang problema? Oo. Pero, susuko ka ba? Siyempre, hindi. Ang batang iyon ay nasa harap niyo na ngayon. Hindi sumuko sa laban ng buhay. Para sa pangarap, para sa pamilya. Poverty, hardships, and strife will always be there blocking your way and will try to trample you down. But no matter how hard life is, be strong and pursue your education because if you do so, I believe that you will have better, if not the best future ahead of you. Graduates, I challenge all of you to keep the fire burning. A fire that hunts for more lessons and wisdom. A fire that will drive you to strive further for excellence. A fire that will make you better. And above all, a fire that will bring you closer to our Almighty Creator. God bless to all of you. And once again, a warmest congratulations. At this moment, lend your ears as we witness Mr. Arvin L. Luna with the highest honors to express his words of gratitude in behalf of all the graduates. To Schools District Supervisor of the District of Sigma, Dr. Merle J. Rubio, the eminent principal of Vicente Andaya Senior National High School, Dr. Jimmy B. Pillones, Head Teacher 4 of English and Filipino Department, Mrs. Maracres Ibanez, Head Teacher 2 of TLE in MAPI Department, Dr. Rinaldo G. Crespo, Head Teacher 1 of Science and ASP Department, 
Mrs. Joanna B. Rojo, Head Teacher 1 of Mathematics and Araling Panlipunan Department, Mr. Marlon J. Reliente, Highly Esteemed Officer in Charge of Senior High School Department, Dr. Mr. Wilfredo J. Paulino, Accommodating and Thoughtful Advisor of Grade 12 Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics Strand, Dr. Helen O'Havil, Proud Parents, Beloved Teachers, Fellow Finishers of this year's Challenge, the graduates of the institution for the school year 2020-2021, and viewers of this remarkable virtual ceremony, a warm and pleasant afternoon. Giving gratitude to others is a simple yet distinctive deed. It is a way where we can express our heartfelt thanks to someone who did something good to us. For the past two years of studying here in Vicente Andaya Senior National High School, Countless people helped me to overcome the struggles. Indeed, no man is an island. We were all challenged by COVID-19 pandemic in this school year. Our struggles in learning before were worsened by this catastrophe that leads to incompetent education. But with the help of other modalities like modules and virtual intervention of teachers, we were able to minimize the effect of pandemic in education in the best way possible. Education must never stop indeed. As students, we were able to adapt to this new normal of learning. And finally, after months of answering modules and activity sheets, spending countless loads, and suffering on the very poor internet connection, we have survived the challenge and became graduates amidst of the pandemic. It feels like yesterday, where we stepped foot in the school grounds for the first day of school. We conquered the difficulties of subject. We spent hours solving calculus problems. We felt pressure in writing 1,000-word essays. We dared to perform PE practicums even some of us don't even have the skills. On the other hand, we also met new friends, built unforgettable memories and moments in this campus. We also interact to teachers personnel, and other staff of the school. We enjoyed together the programs and activities that brought smiles on our faces. Those were memories that would be kept for a lifetime. My Vicente Andaya Senior National High School journey is a one-of-a-kind experience. For me, it is a roller coaster ride of life that made me stronger and ready for another ride of journey towards college. We are now another step closer towards our career. Sadly to say that our right to senior high school is now over. And as we say our goodbyes, I just want to say that wherever may I go, Vicente Andaya Senior National High School will have always a special place in my heart. Two years ago, I was in the same scenario as of today. I was the one that delivered the words of gratitude. I may say I am unconscious before about the feeling of giving gratitude. I read the speech that I didn't even made by myself. It was nothing for me before, not until I entered the senior high school. It was then where I realized that I should have thanked thoroughly the people who helped me to who I, who I am today. And today, I've got another shot for my family, teachers, schoolmates, and friends to, to be recognized as they are the reason behind this milestone. In behalf of the batch 2020-2021 graduates, allow me to give credit to those people who contribute to our success today. First and foremost, to Almighty God, the creator of everything. We are very thankful for all the blessings that you have given to us, dear Lord, especially in this graduation ceremony. For my mother, Ma, salamat sa effort at pagpalangga na ginhatag mo sa akin. Bisan damo kita bagay nga wa na kasunduay. Wa ka gid gaduha-duha nga buligan ako lalo na sa pag-eskwela ko. Back before when I was grade 7, it was the first day of school. After nagpuli ko sa balay nag ko. I was crying before uh, because I felt really alone in school. Then mama told me, "Te ano, mahibi ka na lang da, kay hindi ka na maeskwela." Then she hugged me saying, "Kaya mo na, kay big boy ka na." I was very young back then, and I am very dependent pa kay mama kagpapa. I will not be responsible as of today. 
if I do not have my mama and papa. Even there are times that we almost had nothing. She always makes the way for the sake of my education. She always say to me that, Okay lang ang kwarta, basta may tinapusan. And I promise to mama and papa that I will finish my studies no matter what happened. Because it was you who motivates me always. There was also a time in my grade 11 year here in Sigma, nagkainulan. Then late na ko sa to and my house was in Sapian. Nagmalutak ba ang dalan? We were so far from Sigma and I think it was 20 kilometers away. Why gid sa mega aging a jeep? And then, my father decided gisulangon na mo ng ulan riding in a motor kag nakakapote. Gisulay na mo ng ulan para lang makaabot sa eskwelahan. Pag-abot na mo basa-basa gid si Papa. Mabalik pa siya sa balay kaya si kusuhon niya apa ang uyapad. I am very thankful sa, sa, sa dedication ni Papa nga idulong ako sa eskwelahan. Bisan anuman ang panahon o sitwasyon. Pa, salamat gid sa sakripisyon mo para lang sa pag eskwela ko. I promise to count you off and give back all those sacrifices as I am pursuing my dreams. I would also like to thank to my advisor, Dr. Helen Ohabil. Ma'am, even though we are all in modular learning polls full year round, why ka ginagkulang sa pag-reach out sa among inquiries about sa lesson? Itatak ginamo sa sarili ang lessons and reminders, halin sa pag-lecture mo, as sa mga special mention mo sa among permit sa back row. Thank you for being great to our as we are struggling in learning because of the pandemic. We, the Heathers, will never forget those small moments that we are together from being a chemistry teacher up to being our grade 12 advisor. To my previous advisor, to Sir Fermin John Blanco, Sir, thank you sa imu guidance and research ideas throughout the years. We were blessed to have you and Mam Havil as our guidance in this senior high school journey. To my subject teachers who filled my young mind with one-of-a-kind learnings and ideas, thank you for the learnings, lessons, and values that we have garnered in the two years of studying here. Rest assured that those ideas and concepts we learned will be applied not just in future schooling but also in everyday living. To the father of this institution, Dr. Jimmy B. Billiones, thank you, sir, for your trust on me to have privilege in studying at one of the best public high schools here in Capiz. I am honored to bring the name and glory of Vicente Antaya Senior National High School wherever school I will go on to. I want to recognize also my classmates, my STEM Mighty slash Heather's family. Thank you sa memories tanga na himo, bisan one year lang tanga na kupdanay face to face. We were together in lessons, sermon, jamming kag kadlawanay. Especially to the company in the last row, the backbenchers. Sakay Kate, Jory, Edwin, Romel, Leo, Carlo, NJ, Riza, including Trisha. Thank you sa aton exclusive moments, halin sa pag ni Leo, sa pagluto ni Romel, sa mga overnight kag sa iban iban sa iban iban pa. I wish nga Tani, bisan hindi na same school, we can still consider ourselves as part of this long last friendship. And to my one beloved classmate, to my Mercy Joy, I wish yung matutupad nato ng at nun handum sa kabuhi and we'll accomplish our plans together until the end. I hope we can spend more time productively together as we go on. To my relatives, to Mama Salve, Mama Libet, Mami Aileen, Auntie Daday, Ninang Bingbing, and to my other aunties and uncles, thank you so much sa inyong contribution sa ako niyo pag-eskwela. Even some of it are small things, it means everything to me. To my cousins, to Nong Gerald, ati Mai Mai, ati Bebe, Nong Jojo, Nong Mak Mak, ati Nene, thank you for the support and serving as my companion on my decisions. I wish we could band together as this pandemic ends. To my younger sister Piggy and to Istoy, thank you for the good times that we have sa balay. Hindi na kita magpadungol kay mama kag papa ha. To my gaming brothers, the TGC, to Matthew, Addison, Renzel, Justin, and Pierre, thank you guys for the friendship even we are not in the same school anymore. And to the advices, which some of it helps my studies. To all my unmentioned friends and families, 
I want you to know that you have my heartfelt gratitude for the impact that you have made in my high school life. Altogether, we will not put all those efforts on nothing. And we, the Batch 2021 graduates of Vicente Andaya Senior National High School, will strive hard to pursue our dreams onto the next level. I will always, I will end these words of gratitude with a quote from Benjamin Franklin. An investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. Once again, congratulations to my fellow graduates and may God bless us all. this juncture, we will witness and join her virtually for the Pledge of Loyalty, Miss Catherine B. Bardenas with the highest honors. Fellow graduates, let us virtually pledge our loyalty by raising our right hand. We, the graduates of Vicente and Daya Senior National High School, Class 2020, 2021, hereby pledge to dedicate ourselves to the service of God and our country, to live and perform our full share of responsibilities expected to us by our parents, teachers, and fellow men. We pledge loyalty and support to our alma mater, to the community and country. We pledge further to cooperate fully in the attainment of the goals of the strong republic, and expect our best efforts in the preservation of a just and orderly society. So help us God. This graduation ceremony has truly been noteworthy for everyone. Graduation is indeed a time of completion, of finishing, of an ending. However, it is also a time of celebration of achievements and most importantly a beginning for the new graduate congratulations graduate and to your proud parents go forth grow and be successful a glimpse of the graduates a song to be sang by dr melody j crispo master teacher one and sir yosabio alayon teacher three accompanied by sir Juanelio casabon teacher three Entitled, Awit ng Anak sa Magulang.
Love. 